Hi, this is Mary from Reviewer's Diary. This is kind of like watching a silent film. So I did insert this um, so that you could see that this is not a silent film. There are 12 books in that bag. And so um, I got them out really quick before the donation people came. So that's what you're seeing. I'm letting this go. It is like really emollient, but it's like, it, it's, butter is a very appropriate name, and that's what it's like. There's only a little bit in the bottom, but I dislike it so much that I'm not going to bother to finish it. Um, I really dislike this stuff. It's extremely greasy, so I'm going to let that go. Okay, so there's another declutter. Um, and this ac actually just has to go in the trash. Let me make sure I'm holding it right side up. This is a very nice primer, the Mirabella Prime. Um, it's eye and face, I think. Is that what it says? It says for face, but I, I know that some people use it um, on their eyes as well. Uh, I really like this. It's a lot like the Smashbox um, primer that I love, um, but... It's really, really old. I mean, it's so old, I probably wouldn't chance using it. So this is going to be decluttered and thrown in the trash. Okay, so we're going to add this to the declutters. Um, I think I will reach a 1,000, although now we're not positive that we're going to move anymore, so I don't know. I'm um, not going to be quite as ruthless, but um, I am going to be getting rid of quite a bit anyway. So um, I just did a foundation declutter. Whoops. And although I kept a lot, I am letting go of a lot. So um, this is, and this powder I'm gonna, is unopened. I'm going to put it into the giveaway. So I'm decluttering that because I have two of these. Don't need another one. So that is going. And these, um, all of these are too old to give to anyone. So with the exception of this Lorac, which I'm going to give to my daughter, but yeah, all of these are just too old. And this is, um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items are going um, and going into the declutter. This one to my daughter and the rest into the trash because it's all old stuff. Here's another declutter. Um, I am going to give this to my daughter. She loves it and I'm not that wild about it. I much prefer now that my skin is like pretty normal again. I much prefer like foaming cleansers. So I'm going to give this to my daughter. And both of these candles are going to go into declutter. They don't smell like anything, which is really weird. Um, but I don't even think my daughter would want them because you have to like put your sniffer right in there. I burned both today just to see if I could get any kind of scent out of either of them. And there's nothing happening, so I think that they have lost their scent. There are six more things. Okay, so I know I missed um, taping a couple of declutters. I have three here right now. This one is um, Dr. Brandt Laser Tight. Um, time arrest. I got this a long time ago and I can't even find it online anymore. This is so old that I have to throw it out. I don't know if I would risk putting it on my face or giving it to anyone else to put on their face. I have these two Pacifica moisturizers. One of them smells like smelly old man on me. The one on the right, which is the French lilac smells freaking horrible on me. Now, I don't know if it's my body chemistry or not. My husband likes the smell, but I, it just bothers me. Like, you know when you put lotion on your upper arms and you smell it all day? No, I really didn't like it. And the sandalwood it smells okay, but I'm not fond of it. These are super, super moisturizing. I was going to get the whole set and do a review, but you know what? I just hate them so much that... I'm going to give them to my daughter. She'll enjoy them, and I am not enjoying them at all. So these are going to go also. I have two more things that I'm getting rid of. Oh, oh almost dropped that. <laughs> One is this alginist cream, and I'll talk about that in a second. 
and the other is the Hello Toothpaste. So let me address the Hello Toothpaste first. By the way, life is in like a little uproar because um, we're, we have someone painting. So anyway, <clears throat> half of my stuff is is all over. So anyway, this Hello Toothpaste tasted good. So I would be willing to try another one, but this was black and it left the like my teeth looking black and it stained my sink. <laughs> so I'm not going to ever use this again. In fact, I'll offer it to my daughter, but um, I don't think she's going to want to use it after my experience. I will buy other Hello toothpaste that's not black. This really was black. So uh, let me see what it says. I can't read it. So I'm going to just bring it very close to the camera so that you can read it. This might have been one of those charcoal toothpastes. And so I'm not sure, but it really, who, oh yeah, advanced charcoal. Never, ever again. Never, ever again. I got this in a Walmart beauty box. And I'm never, ever using that again. Okay, so the Alginus Cream, um, I know it's not cruelty free. Hello, by the way, is cruelty free. Um, the Alginus Cream is not cruelty free. But it smells awful. I think it's gone off. I brought the Alginus Cream I'm currently using out to show you the difference in color. <laughs> now, they're both different types of cream. Um, this one smells wonderful, and this is the firming and lifting, and I don't use this just at night, I use it also in the morning, um, and this one is anti-aging moisturizer. Um, I think it used to be white, and I used about half of it thinking I'll just use it on my neck, but the smell just is horrible. So you can see the difference. I think this cream was white when I first got it. This is why you should use your um, expensive stuff up first. Um, the reason being that you can't afford to replace it and so you don't want it to go bad. Cheap stuff like, you know, um, drugstore brand or lower priced brands, you can afford to replace this is not replaceable. Um, I got this uh, in a gift set and I think it was in a gift set. Um, I'm not ever going to be able to afford to buy a jar of this um, moisturizer. So unfortunately I have to bid adieu to this one. Um, I think it's gone bad. I tried really hard to use it and um, unfortunately I think it's gone off, so it's going to go in the trash. Okay, so with relocation of my stuff to the bedroom, <laughs> um, I have discovered a couple products that were really outdated. This I got um, CVS brand uh, Baby Sun Lotion SPF 50. I got it, gosh, uh, two years ago maybe. It has an expiration date of 2017, and so this is going to be trashed. So this is the next thing in my giant 1000 declutter. Here's another declutter item. I do really like this stuff, but my daughter loves it and I have plenty of serum. I have so I have more than I can possibly use. And so I am going to declutter this from my collection and give it to my daughter. She'll really enjoy it. Uh, all right, so these are um, two more items being decluttered, giving them to my daughter. And I already did a palette declutter, but I'm um, going to probably do another one, so this will count toward the palette declutter as well. So that is two more um, palettes, one Smashbox and one Lorac. A few more things going to Goodwill. First is this Hoover floor washing actually it's a old very old carpet thing anyway I hate it I've hated it for a long time and it's going to go to the veterans 
this beautiful little thing. I just don't have a place for it. I had two of these. I kept the one that has the guardian angel on it. And so this one is going to go to the Goodwill store. I have two other things in here. Um, uh, actually, a few more things in here. I have these four little birdhouse things that uh, we made years and years ago. Um, so that's four more things. Oh my god. So already we're at six because of this and this. All right, so four, six, and two more things are items of clothing. These are just old shorts that I have that they don't fit me right anymore, and I don't really like them that much anymore. So I'm sorry the lighting is so crappy. I'm actually in the garage, as you can tell by the floor. Um, but anyway, yeah, this pair of shorts is, like, just not in very great shape, but it's they're certainly serviceable for a Goodwill shop. So um, these are going to Goodwill. And the last thing, number six, is this shirt. Um, I actually bought this shirt at Goodwill. Um, but when I got it home, I found that it was too worn out. Okay, so this is for the 1000 Declutter. This is another 11 items. Um, it is four cheek color, five cheek colors actually, if you count that, which is supposed to be a blush, but it's really, really too dark. And the other two blushes in there are three, are too light to show up on my skin tone. Um, and there are uh, six eyeshadows. Um, I consolidated and so this is what I have ended up with. So that is 11 items decluttered. I'm also going to add a picture here that is a picture of two items that I decluttered and already put in the donation box. And one of them was a makeup case with a mirror and the other, well, little, little one. And the other is just a book off the shelf. So I have to continue to declutter, even though we're probably not moving. Um, I do feel like a little bit of, like freer since I started getting rid of some stuff. So anyway, um, it does feel really good. Um, so I have decluttered two makeup sprays, um, a sunblock that's past its expiration date, um, a, another product that is just not working anymore, um, it's old, two sunblocks that are past their expiration. They were awesome. They're both about half full on each. Um, I would not hesitate to purchase this again. In fact, I might actually do that. It's a liquid, so it doesn't make you look like, it doesn't make your skin all sticky and nasty. And I'm decluttering this eye makeup remover. I bought this at Sephora a couple of years ago. It's pretty, it's older, but even from the very first day I used it, it used to sting my eyes. And so that is also being decluttered. So that is a total of seven items. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more items in the 1000 declutter.